Oh, oh, that just, that made me regret what we had for dinner. Ugh. I'm glad we didn't have that after enchiladas. Oh, oh my gosh, can you imagine? Uh, oh. I was actually worried last night because we were going to be doing this. <laughs> Tonight at least we had a nice base of fried <clears throat> rice. Okay, fried rice. Three, two, one. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and we're also celebrating the whiskeys that make the music sound better. Uh, this is Rand. He's visiting from Phoenix, or near Phoenix, Arizona. Say hi, Rand. Hey, everybody. Hey. And I thought, since he's visiting, and he's uh, staying at my house, why not do a whiskey review? So we went to Total Wine, love Total Wine, and we've got us uh, some whiskeys here. We're actually going to uh, be doing uh, two different videos. This one is all about uh, a mishmash of things that just look interesting. So uh, strap in, because it's going to get a little weird. We're going to start off with something I didn't even know existed. I'm, I'm aware of blended scotches. I love the uh, Costco Kirkland 80% blended <laughs> scotch. I've got some in my uh, liquor cabinet. I had never seen a, a blended Isla before. So Yeah, I'm curious about this one. It's a Smoky Joe bl Isla blended malt scotch whiskey. And because it's a mini, there isn't a whole lot of information on this. We're going into all of these blind. I didn't do any research, didn't want to be prejudiced, and it does say not chill filtered. So we'll see what that what that has to do with it. Um, while I was at Total Wine, upgraded my game from one Glen Karen to five now. <laughs> so, sir, if I may have a glass. Please. We'll see how... Uh, these new Glen Cairns do with the uh, Quantate. <laughs> yeah, right about right on. Looks good to me. Sir, welcome to my home. Salute. Ah, that's... Uh, so, first we're going to, you know, obviously do the nose. Um, Rand's much... He's, he's newer than I am to the world of uh, actually tasting things. <laughs> Very much so. I know what I like, and I like smells. Yeah. But... Yep. I'm not there professional. So, right off the bat, we're just going to give it a little... Oh, yeah, it's definitely an Isla. Mm -hmm. Now, you prefer the peats, right? Mm. The Smokies and the Iodines and stuff. Yeah, I like Smoky, I mean... Yep. So, you get smoke, you get... Iodine. It's smoke. But it, <laughs> yeah, it's not as medicinal as I, some other ones, like um, the Frog or, or Ardberg. I'm not... I'm not hating it. Yeah, it, it, it's it's piquing my interest now. Of course, this is the first. Kind of smells like champagne, like if you blend it all together. And I, I think I, I understand what you're saying. Kind of like a sweeter. There's like... some yeah. There's some there's some grapes in there. Obviously, mm -hmm. um, there's a little bit of grapes. Um, uh, because it's mini, like I said, we don't get the blurb they usually put about like it was finished in this type of oak cask or any of that. Um, if you have ever tried Smoky Joe Isla blended, by all means, down in the comments. Let us know what your notes were, what your takeaway was. Um, but right off the bat, getting grapes, getting, it was, it seems to, um... Yeah, it almost brings back the childhood memories of, like, when I went under for my ear surgeries, when they used gas. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a very specific. All right. Um, all right, knocking you out already, huh? Yeah. So... And one little trick is it, when you're breathing in through your nose to open your mouth. Ah. And it, it kind of lets everything. Oh, yeah. That, that definitely. Wow. Yep. I, I've, I'm starting to count back from 10. And I'm not yeah, going to make exactly. it to 7. And, of course, now this is the first whiskey <laughs> of the night. So that is also why it's it's piquing my interest a lot. We haven't gotten to the other ones. And they're, they're a whole other direction. Um, Do you get any dried fruits in there? No, just the grapes. I, yep. That's all I'm getting. I'm not getting raisins. I think I might be getting a little bit of currants. Currants. Um, 
As long as I don't get papaya, I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> papaya. <laughs> Inside joke, earlier comment, papayas and mangoes be damned. So, I don't mind right, mangoes. Sir, shall we go in? Sure. Ooh, it's an oily son of a bitch. Yeah, it is. So the legs on it, that's, you know, it's oil, but you get Ooh, a burn. You I get a shut burn. shut my whole thing. I didn't know I wasn't supposed to. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I, I don't even have any more to give you. And uh, in th th this day and age, I'm not going to uh, pour some after I've tasted it out of my Yeah, guts. right. But you, there was a burn. There was a burn on the Definitely tip. need some instruction on how to do this. Right, guys. Mm. Taste Teach it. me down in the comics. Oh, we're tasting. <laughs> yeah. You're trying to pick it apart. Oh. Ooh. Okay. I mean, there's not much to pick apart there. It's not okay. very sophisticated. So I have just had a glass of wine sitting by a campfire where the smoke is blowing right into my face. That's that's pretty accurate. I felt like I drank a medical solution. That somebody had smoked a cigar and blown, yeah, in, maybe, yeah. blown into. Yeah, so it's not as smoky as other... Because it's a blend. It's like a 1970s medical solution the doctor was smoking while he prepared it. You weren't even alive in the 70s, were you? No, but I've like watched enough of the <laughs> you know pop culture references. I like him. All right. Um, <laughs> so because it's a blend, the smoke is not totally overpowering. It's not quite as clinical or you know iodiney. It's a word. Look it up. Um, I think when I was alive in the eighties, there were smoking lounges. Yes, there were in the hospitals. Uh, I'm old. Anyway. <laughs> How could you shoot that? Oh, God. That's, I mean, it was a whole lot less pain. Yeah, right. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm getting wood notes, but it's hard to distinguish what type of what, what type of cask, hmm. what type of um, pine. I don't think so. <laughs> you, don't, you don't generally do barrels of pine. I don't know. I have to... I, it, it seems like it was a charred oak. I mean, obviously, but um, it was charred something. Well, sometimes you can pick out other notes. I'm having a hard time, but again, I am not part of the cult of Ardbeg or or the Frog or, or any of those other super peaty boys. Um, so I don't have quite the experience. And interesting. Now I'm on the back end. I'm definitely picking up. There's a sweet note there, and it's not grapes. It's um, I want to say orange peel, or like you know, what? I can almost see that. But not not like when you get you you get, you get like a cocktail and they do the orange peel oil. Yeah, that's what it it feels like. Is because it's so oily. It any sort of sweetness, any sort it is just cloying. That's what this is to me. Is it's very cloying. You might want to rinse that out. <laughs> Oh yeah, we'll definitely before we move on. Um, definitely rinse this before we try the next one. Is indubitably, we have our we have our still water here in uh, damn right monogram glasses. <laughs> mm, yes, actually, I'm not going to drink that yet. But you you might. Want to. I'm trying to finish this because yeah, this is. Too. I have gone on record. It sits right here when you shoot it. Right yeah, right don't don't shoot don't shoot whiskey. Uh, uh, scotch oh, I mean, whiskey. I shoot whiskey. Yeah. All the time. Let me rephrase it. Sorry, don't shoot scotch. Yeah. You'll get you, you'll get shot in some places. Mm. Um, like I said, it's very it's it's complicated. It's it has character. There are layers and depths that I am still not well versed enough to pick apart yet, because this the peat is just bogging me down. No pun intended. Um, actually, pun was intended. Yeah, all right. Yep. When I, a, a nice big gulp, and there's the iodine. There's definitely the iodine. I mean, the only way to really do this is to not sip it. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only way to enjoy this is for what it does to you after you drink it. So, <laughs> that is Smoky Joe blended. And that definitely we, smoky. We started Not false advertising. We started off with that one because that's going to be the roughest ride of the night. I think. Uh, I don't know. I have a feeling that uh, the uh, 
Oh, what are they? Don't, no, don't, no spoilers. There's there's some rough ones coming down the way. All right, sir. Do you want to hand me that one? Uh, give that, put that in my spot, please. All right. So, Rick, why don't you tell them a little bit about you and what you do? I do a lot of things professionally. I work for college um, as an enrollment counselor. But uh, <clears throat> I do a lot of crafting, construction, all sorts of fun hobbies. Been thinking about starting my own YouTube channel, but always too scared to do it. <laughs> what would you do it about? Probably crafting, but honestly, maybe gaming. I am a huge video game collector. Uh, probably have a collection that could dwarf some of the professional YouTubers. Not trying to yeah, call not any battles, yeah. <laughs> but what do you think? Uh, this one first. Something over seven thousand games in my collection. Jeez, I'm yeah, start a channel. <laughs> Seriously, start a channel. <laughs> and and that that no, sir. Unlike my channel, which is a bit of a niche, you know, uh, Las Vegas local music and 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 whiskeys, your that would be a much wider. Maybe check it out. I oh, don't know if I have the camera present. You guys, let me know in the comments. Look at this face. Oh. So, what do you think? This one first, or this uh, one? Oh, jeez. I I know you hate pecans, so let's go okay. that one first. Exactly. We're we're, we're uh, ripping the bandit off, and then we'll rub on the uh, the sweet aloe. So next up is Revel Stoke. That's R E V. There's my dog. R E V E L, and then Stoke S T O K E. It's a pecan whiskey, but it's roasted pecan flavored whiskey. So let's keep it with the smoke theme. Hey, let me. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hang on a second. There we go. It's one of those. One of those caps that don't want to come off. Ow. Can I go ahead and get that? Please. All right. Just, just a minute. I want to make sure I'm giving you the proper amount. Just going to hold it so you don't, you don't like mix our glasses up. I'm not going to mix our glasses up. No. <laughs> We're only two in. So, <laughs> here you go, sir. Close up there. I'll put a pretty picture on the screen. This is more for me than anything else. So this is uh, something that you've never had either, right? No, no, I've never had any of the things we're trying today. Now he's married a foreigner. Yeah, he, he's married to a Canadian. Canadian, yeah. And this is an imported Canadian whiskey with natural pecan flavor. Oh, you think it'd be maple, right? So uh, it's seventy do proof. Even, do they even have pecans up in Canada? I thought those were like <laughs> southern. You'd have to ask your wife, man. She would know. But yeah, that's uh, this is 70 proof. To put that in perspective, the one we just did was uh, wow, 46% alcohol by volume. So this is only 35. Yeah, so, so we're, we're taking a dip down. It's a dessert. It's a dessert. It's a sweet it, it shouldn't knock you on I'm your ass. Already smelling like oh yeah, kind of smells like a pie a little bit. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's let's. Clear our palates oh, yes. again. Take a take a good big yeah, because I still have some iodine on the back of my There's a little tip for as far as the nose goes. Smell the inside of your arm. <clears throat> Smell yourself basically, and it kind of resets. Oh, ah, okay. Um, you can also do like coffee beans, but good thought. thing I showered before this, right? Well, no, even if not, you're just <laughs> you're literally <laughs> then it would really reset, you're literally right? kind of resetting your brain. So all right, um, so this is Rebel Stoke. Stick your nose in. Oh, I do like that smell. I like yes. it. See, it's very butterscotch. Unlike my uh, my usual tasting partner, Sean Flume, uh, I kind of enjoy a dessert whiskey every now and then. It kind of makes me feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm celebrating something. It, it's like, it's a holiday or something. Yeah, it definitely it feels like something that my grandmother would give me yeah. on Christmas. Now, I don't like pecans. I don't like pecan pie. But... I mean, it almost smells more like butterscotch than it does pecan to me. That's exactly what I was going to say. It doesn't smell like pecan. Uh, faithful viewers of my channel will know that early on I did a review of um, a pecan pie uh, whiskey. I don't, was it a brandy? I think it was a pecan pie whiskey. It was Old Moonshine. Or, oh, yeah. Yeah. And 
That was that was literally somebody shoved a pecan pie into a jar. <laughs> oh, jeez, I have a blueberry old moonshine that I've been dreading to pass. Yeah, that old moonshine, they don't mess around. But this this Rebel Stoke is, is more of... It's almost like the filling of a pecan pie without the pecans. Yeah, like the that you're right. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously you're getting the usual baking spices. Um, after the... Uh, the blended Isla, it, this is a nice change of pace because I can smell things more, you know, the smoke, the smoke doesn't get in my, uh, my way. And, uh, I'm sure plenty of you are going to comment about how I'm, I'm a lightweight or something, but, uh, yeah. So what are you getting? Mm. Think about any, any, maybe like a vanilla, yep. like there's like a little vanilla bean or something in there. Yep. That, that'll definitely be one of those baking you know, smells and spices. Yeah. Is there anything weird like that you're getting? That do you do you get the crust? No, I'm not getting anything crusty. I, I don't think that was supposed I, to be a pecan I'm, pie. I'm smelling. You know, it's I, yeah, it's not supposed to be. It doesn't say it anyway. But I am smelling some sort of. And a lot of times with whiskeys, particularly on the sweeter end, you'll get a little bit of a buttery crust. Yeah, buttery. but I butter for sure. Right. That's why I like butterscotch. Um, my daughter. My daughter. Up until recently, my daughter was, was a Girl Scout, and uh, one of the things they sold was Toffee Tastics. They make incredible uh, pie crust. Not so good to just eat plain because it's butter. It's a butter cookie, basically, with bits of toffee shoved, shoved in it. And that's what this reminds me of. Is uh, so. All right. Yeah, there's, so, there's a Girl Scout cookie that's like got car. It's a chocolate covered one, but it's got caramel inside. And oh yeah, the caramel delights. Yeah, that's kind of... Or horrible. Samoas, as they call Samoas, them. Samoas, that's, that's what this yes. reminds me of, actually. It, believe it or not, they're called Samoas on this coast, and uh, Caramel Delights, I think, on the East Coast. Okay. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that, or like mm -hmm. a Star Crunch cake. Ooh, I could kind of... Uh, shall we dive in? Yeah. This time, <clears throat> don't shoot it. <laughs> okay. That's, that's actually better than I expected. A lot of times with these dessert whiskeys, you get, like, cloying, like... Oh man, I want some bacon or something to get rid of this. this yeah, it's not super sweet. No, it's, it's definitely a little syrupy though. Mm -hmm. This on the rocks, this cold, would be really nice. I think. Hmm. By the way, I like the shirt. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Belmont Clan. No, I was. I said, do you like my shirt? Oh, do I like your shirt? Sure, I like your shirt too. But awesome. I like my whiskey straight. But my friends can go either way. Um, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't want. Like a glass of it? No, no. This is this is just about enough. <laughs> yeah, snifter of this stuff. That's that's pretty good. Sit there and sip it after dinner. <clears throat> so this is when you don't want the pie, but you want something sweet. Right. Not a lot of not a lot of other flavors going on here, as far as I can tell. I don't get any um, citrus per se, which you wouldn't expect from roast pecans. They this is. It does what it says on the tin, you know? They roast pecans. But it's not. Not really. This is, again, it's like the the stuff that covers the pecans. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? If you throw it towards the back of your throat and just kind of let it roll off the back of your tongue, you can kind of taste good to pecans. Okay. This reminds me a lot of Screwball, the peanut butter whiskey. I did a review of that, and it was, if you just shot it, Mm -hmm. Peanut butter. If you had it cold, pretty much peanut butter. But if you had it just neat or, or like this, it was more vanilla. And it was kind of disappointing. You're like, oh, peanut butter. In this case, I expected more pecan. So, Rebel Stoke, work on that a little bit more with the roast pecan bit and less of the butterscotch. Uh, or Butterscotch schnapps. Butterscotch schnapps, almost, yeah. It's like someone took butterscotch schnapps, warmed it up. Put a little whiskey on there. Put a little, a little whiskey, whiskey, yeah. Just for the burn. Hmm. That's exactly what it's like. It's like somebody said, well, I got a little of this and a little of that. Let's mix it together. Hmm. That would explain the syrupiness. Your butterscotch got it. Maybe that's whiskey. what they did. <laughs> yeah. You know what? That might be exactly what they did because hmm. it's really syrupy. It's like one of the most syrupy whiskeys I've had. Hmm. But not oily. Hmm. Not yeah. like, not oily like the, um... ooh, wow. It's just like, uh, it's just a syrup. That's all I can explain it. 
maple syrup, and it tastes like this. Did it, does it, <laughs> it, it almost feels feels like medicine. Yeah. But it doesn't taste like medicine. Exactly. It doesn't have the artificial flavor that you can get from like, oh, it's strawberry flavored medicine. Yeah. It's just, it's not what I would call roast pecan. Uh, I wouldn't call it roast pecan if I were you, Rebel Stoke. I would call it butterscotch. Yeah, it's a butterscotch whiskey. I mean, the, sure, there's a little bit of pecan in there if you really search for it, but most people aren't going to find it. And they're not going to be happy with the... Oh, you'd be surprised. Um, I belong well, to... the. Part of the, you know, some of the people watching this are in a group called the Whiskey Tribe, and they're very good at. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure connoisseurs and coinosaurs tasters will find yes. it, but the average American Joe that goes and picks this up to drink it for Christmas or whatever, they're not going to taste a cup. They're going to taste butterscotch. Mm. Now, where are you originally from? Because you're not originally from Phoenix, right? Wyoming. Wyoming. Born and raised. Rather than rinse out those two again, well, let's start over new with these ones. All right. And uh, put that over there, please. All right. Yeah, sir, I'll keep them separate. Okay. That way, if we do need to rinse them. Oh. Definitely want to cleanse the palate on this because we're coming into yet another dessert whiskey. Sean, you're welcome. I figured I'd knock these out without you. Uh, this is Raven's Lace. And it's a peach berry whiskey. It sounds like... It sounds honestly like it's going to be horrible. It sounds like... <laughs> it sounds like something that you'd get in a club when you're like, mm -hmm. give me something fluorescent. Yeah. <laughs> but it kind of reminds me of this drink called Hypnotic. It just tastes uh -huh. like it's the color blue. Yes. Like if you were to melt a blue crayon and I've, drink that. I've had, I've had Hypnotic. It's exactly <laughs> you, can't, right. you can't find any flavors. In right, there. it's just like drinking. A hypnotic taste. <laughs> hypnotic tastes like what you would think an adios would taste like. You had an adios? No, I've never had an adios. You know what an adios is? Uh, no, I'm just sure. Okay, it's called the. the uh, I don't do mixed drinks very much. It's okay, so you know what tequila sunrise is? Yeah. Okay, dump the soda. Put it in blue curacao. It's called an adios motherfucker, but you just tell a, a bartender, give me an adios, and you get this fluorescent blue thing. But it is mostly a little bit of sweet and sour. You definitely get the tequila and other things. I was going to say, at least there, you can taste the tequila and have not. There's, it just tastes like chemicals. Before I get to the pouring, this is 60 proof. Okay. So we're... Uh, 30%. Even yeah, less we're, we're going one. down, but we're going to kick it up with the last one. <laughs> that one there makes me nervous. It's white. Yes. So anytime you see whiskey with natural flavors and artificially colored mm, on the label, that's, yeah. Right there, artificially colored. Ooh, you from, know that thing probably looks like dog poop in a bottle when it's made. Mm, and it's from Kentucky, Bardstown. Uh, All right. And just disclaimer, uh, we are both COVID free. We're sure of that and we're not driving, so. Correct, on both accounts. I think you got a little more in me, but I'm okay with that. A little more in you? That's fine. <laughs> so, um, there's a little close-up. It's, I mean, oh, oh, it's oh, no. kind of a cool bottle. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh... I, that's why I chose um, it. I knew my wife would like that bottle. <laughs> Your wife who sent us for bottles in the shape of cats and vampire with wine. Yeah. Which neither one exists, and they're stupid expensive now. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> clinky clinky. Yes, it's a nice one. Oh, man, no. Oh, no. Right away. This is not whiskey. <laughs> this is not. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like, uh, it tastes like the Shirley, T or smells like the, uh, the, the no, stuff. Like a hur you, you order something with the word hurricane in it. Yeah. Oh. I was going to say, but it's, this is just the mix. This isn't the alcohol part. Yeah. <laughs> this is, this just is Bahama the, Breeze or something. Just like, the mix. <laughs> can you put some, some whiskey in this? I can't smell thing. any alcohol in this thing at all. And it's so sweet okay, and strong. So, okay. To, to break it down a little bit better, this is... Well, you look yeah, at it. It took cherries, strawberries, and all the fake flavors, not like the actual flavors. Right. But like not even Tarani syrups. Not even... No. Like, not like, even this like, is the... Like literally jo melted Jolly Ranchers. Capri Suns. Yeah. No. no just no. Pouch. Melted Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Melted Jolly Ranchers. But... Oh my gosh, yeah. It's the Watermelon Jolly Rancher. Yeah. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it's the Watermelon Jolly Rancher. If you Rancher. want a Watermelon Jolly Rancher, you can drink. <laughs> just get Raven's Lace. 
We haven't. No, we haven't tasted it. Yeah. We may get knocked on our ass here, but smelling it, there's no, there's no usual whiskey notes at all. No, ba- no, no baking spices or nothing. It's strictly. It's it's. Smells, I'm puckering already. Yeah. 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 It's like a, a watermelon yeah. sour jelly right I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, oh man! Wow. Yeah, well, this one, I think we need a toast. Do you have a good toast? Do I have a good toast? Yeah. Maybe survive this? <laughs> <laughs> here's to you and here's to me. And if ever we should disagree, then the hell with you and here's to me. <laughs> All right. Uh-uh. Don't shoot it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm. If there's whiskey in here, uh, I'm the queen of England because that is... Wow. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I just drank some girl's mixed drink that was way too heavy on the mixer and not enough alcohol. And I would say, by alcohol, I'm probably talking vodka. You know how sometimes you're like, oh, this bartender likes me? This bartender hated me. (laughs) Yeah, right? (laughs) Yeah. Wow. Oh. Hmm. I can't even, like... I'm telling you, it's vodka. It's vodka and sweet stuff. I, you're, yeah, Raven's Lace, you're lying to us because... If there's wits, I mean, honestly, I mean, it's it's oily. Mm-hmm. I just, I just can't, I can't believe they would market this as a whiskey. Um, my dog is currently pawing at my leg, wanting to go out. So we're gonna take a quick little uh, jump cut. We're back, and boy, was that terrible. Um, yeah, we just got rid of that and and made it happen. Um, Raven's Lace, can't recommend. Can't recommend it. No. Not even if that's the kind of drink you want. No, no, really. Uh, like, I wouldn't recommend that to a taking, girl looking for a fruity drink. Yeah, I, I down the rest of it on the and, and on the, the, the finish, on the back end, was nothing but literally like watermelon sugar. sour Jolly yeah. Rancher. It was, yeah, sugar and, and acid and there was, there was nothing. There was nothing else, so... To round up this mishmash, don't worry, the next one's going to be all bourbons. Uh, To round up the mishmash, because we're in Vegas, uh, Rand spotted this and I said, hey, yeah, let's go for it. It's the Mob Museum Moonshine Las Vegas Corn Whiskey. Yup. It's a whiskey, and it's got to be more whiskey than that last one. (laughs) You know, I honestly would rather drink Drink Jim Bean. Wow. So I, I try to stay away from anything in a plastic bottle. By the way, that was in a plastic bottle. Yeah, this is not. This is <laughs> um, so this is uh, 50% alcohol. 100 oh. proof, baby. We're going, we're stepping up for the end here. Oh, yeah. We need something. Um, obviously, it's clear. I think. I, I think I did dirty there. I think you did. That's okay. Now you're now we're even. I think I'm pretty sure we're even there, sir. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Proper pouring leads to proper snoring. Yes, proper sn- I, I like that. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right. And incidentally, if you've had any experience with any of these, please drop it down in the comments. Let us know what you thought. Let us know how bad you you. Thought Revel, uh, what was it? It was a uh, Raven, Raven's Lace. Raven Lace. Yeah. Raven's Lace. So far, of the four, because we haven't tasted this, we haven't noticed this yet. So far, my favorite is the Moonshine. <laughs> so far, my favorite is actually, I hate to say, the freaking Blended Islet. And faithful viewers know I'm not a fan of Pete at my, all. My favorite's the Pecan, even though I don't necessarily like yeah. the the the... The sweet whiskeys. Okay. It's just uh, that blended Isla reminded me way too much of like going under for childhood surgeries. Right. Well, I think we know what to expect from a moonshine. All right. Especially a hundred proof. Yeah. Right. Um, the more we drink, the fast. Hold, hold on. The more we drink, the faster we fall asleep. The more we sleep, the less we sin. The less we sin, the faster we go to heaven. So let's all get drunk and go to heaven. All right. Something like that. Oh wait, not drinking yet. Obviously, corn rye. Um, yep. 
Now I'm not a con- I, I'm not at all well versed in the moonshine world. Um, this is more of an exploratory for us. Almost has like a doughy or yeasty kind of smell, like right. And with the uh, with moonshine, I believe corn, with moonshine, I believe yeah, you get grain. more of the mash coming through. Yeah. Like I could use this to make bread. Yeah, it's. Oh, would you say cornbread? Uh, maybe. Like a. It, I'm reminded of a Johnny cake. If you've ever had one of those. I mean, it's definitely not Everclear, which is what I was. Worried oh no, about. no! <laughs> I was so, so worried. So far, this is not. This is not. Telling me not to drink. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's there's definitely like a, a green or something in there. It's not like I'm sniffing like medical alcohol, right? And it's not. Uh, I've had moonshine that was damn near mm. close to grappa. Have you ever had grappa? No, but I had a moonshine that kind of tasted like turpentine. I was worried it was going to take my eyesight from me. But you that ever, was made by somebody. You ever, you ever smell kerosene? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much grappa. Good grappa. Okay. You do not shoot grappa. <laughs> oh, you do not shoot grappa. Okay. So, yeah, that's that. I've had moonshine that but, was like that. It's kerosene no, this and turpentine. Is, I mean, I'm not... Like, the notes, now that it's been open a little bit, possibly because we still got a little water from rinsing out the glasses, the notes are mellowing out. Mm -hmm. Getting harder to pick out, so I think it's time to dive in, sir. I think you're right. Ooh. Mm. Now, see, there's a burn right off the bat, but it's a gentle burn. Mm -hmm. This is more of the, hey, you're drinking alcohol, just to let you know. And then right after the burn, I got, um, oh, what is that? It's like corn syrup. It's like corn, right. but not like corn syrup. I like, I've never drank corn syrup, but it's like corn and it's got a <laughs> very thick consistency. It's very oily. At least off the, off the tongue it is. I get corn. I also, I get wheat. Yeah. There's definitely a wheat. Toasted wheat though. Mm -hmm. So again, the mash, the whole process, um, there's nothing weird in this. It tastes like moonshine should taste in my opinion. So it actually tastes better than moonshine should taste in my opinion. Yeah. Right. And especially considering it's a, it's got the Mob Museum on there, you would think, okay, it's just a little kitschy, you know, gimmick. Mm -hmm. It's this not. Is, it's actually there's been some thought and some development put into this. Yeah. Because honestly, I've never had a moonshine I liked. They usually are way too harsh or way too right. You know, I could see I could see having this with some food, yeah, savory or sweet. It's not it's not <clears throat> uh, abrasive. It's not uh, smack you in the face. Yeah, and this isn't like mm. all the moonshines I've ever had, you know, it was like you drink it to get drunk. You don't drink yeah. it for the pleasure. This is actually probably the most pleasurable of the three we've had so far. Yeah. You ever watch that show Moonshiners? No. Well, no. It, it started off basically following them along, like being illegal and doing moonshine in the forest or whatever. Okay. And suddenly I've been seeing that it's it's actually competition to who's a better moonshiner. Oh, so they're making it like a legit thing, and they've got little stills, and they. they have so to this build. is like a reality show. Yeah, it's a reality show. But I picked up a few tips from watching it because I was like, eh, I don't know anything about moonshine, you know. And this, to me, for a hundred proof that's this smooth. Yeah, this would this would win the the challenge. I swear. Mm -hmm. mm. You know those reality shows are weird where they're doing illegal stuff like <laughs> the Amish mafia. Like how do they? It's on TV. How do you get away with that? <coughs> oh, you know, they're... I don't know what happened. I just got vapor lock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, does it? You can't let it hit the back of your throat. Well, oh, here's a little trick. If you get just a couple little drops of water, it can open up the oils. Some of the oils that are water soluble. The trick is, can you do it with just a couple drops? Uh, well, I can't. All I got is a couple drops in here because that uh, that Raven's lace took all of my water. Yeah. Right. Uh, careful, careful, careful. I got a little more than that. but And you just basically swish it around and let it volatize the esters, as they say. Yeah, see right there. Ooh. Just, yeah. Ooh, maybe maybe you or somebody watching this could, uh, could teach me. So I had a friend who was telling me that there's a good way to drink gin. And basically, yeah. if you mix it with something, but it has to be mixed, not shaken, because if you shake it, you'll bruise it. Have you guys ever heard of bruising an alcohol? Yes. 
Okay. And actually, the whole James Bond shaking off cert thing, totally wrong. <clears throat> Don't make a martini that way. Uh, personally, not a gin fan. I like my vodka unruined. You know, if, yeah. you, if you're a gin fan, feel free to yell at me in the comments. Um, I don't like drinking pine trees either. It's juniper berries. I mean, they're a yeah. form of... Do you notice anything different with the water? Hmm. It's sweeter. It, yeah, I was going to say it's sweeter. Bird, the burn kicked up a little bit more, but that might just be because I'm drinking it so much. No, honestly, I get it too. The burn somehow kicked up, but the sweet also <clears> kicked <throat> up. Mm -hmm. So it's like, okay, you know? Yeah. It, it, it's not offensive still. It's still good stuff. Bob Museum. Un unlocking the sugars, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think, I'm glad we did this the order we did it in. Oh, yeah. No, this is a great way to finish this up. Yeah. I'm looking forward to our next video, which is uh, for, we're doing a little bit of a, a bourbon shootout. Uh, there are four bourbons I've never tried. I think you've had one. No, I don't think, I think we got rid of the one that I've had. I thought you had this one. Oh, maybe. Okay. So you'll have <clears throat> to, uh, definitely, subscribe to the channel. You know what to do. There's a bell and all that jazz. But subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when, when that video posts. Um, but yeah, these are four that we've never heard of. And I'm excited. There's one with a very interesting twist to how it's <laughs> delivered. What a twist. What a twist. <laughs> okay, shamalamalamalamalam. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, let's, let's pound Salute. these. I thank you. I thank you. Even a big swig. Like, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. I, it's, it's not... It's a nice, polite moonshine. What more could you want? Thank you very much for watching. This has been Room 6 uh, Reviews. If you have any whiskeys that you just think don't get a fair shake or, or you would like to see me review either by myself uh, or with someone else, by all means, by all means, drop a note in the comments. And I'll be happy to pick it up. Uh, if you really want to be nice and send me one, hit me up in the DMs and I'll, uh, I'll tell you how to do that. But in the meantime... If you want to see more videos like this, click up here. If you want to subscribe, click over there, ring the bell, you'll be notified. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to be amazing, stay safe, stay strong, stay supportive. Friend, thank you, sir, for having me. Thank you. Have, Have a good see you night, next everybody. Time. We'll see you next time on Room 6.